Hello friends. Today we are going to be continuing our lesson on rounding whole numbers. This is part of your math concept unit two. You are going to need your math journal like always because we take notes in our math journal. Also take out your anchor chart on round numbers from yesterday. That'll show you the steps for rounding. You will want to be using the math toolkit in your math Google Classroom. And of course, you will find everything you need for assignments in your math teacher's Google Classroom. And I will tell you that on this agenda, we're going to be uh, rounding numbers, thousands, place value, 10,000s place value, 100,000s place value. We will do uh, play a little game about uh, rounding with pirates, and then you, there will be two assignments that you're going to turn in. But I guarantee you that you will do a great job if you follow your, uh, the steps for rounding and if you do your strategy. So let's start. Let's launch this lesson. Now, do you, I wanna ask you, do you understand rounding numbers? Do you know what the purpose of rounding numbers is? Think about it for a second and, uh, and uh, say it out loud so that uh, you can put words to, to the question. We round because sometimes we want to make our number simple. We may not want the exact number, but we want a number that's really close to it. Do you know the steps to rounding numbers? Are you using a uh, number line with your consecutive multiples. And another important question is, do you know your place value charts? Because you need to know where the tens place value is, the hundreds, the thousands, the ten thousands, and the hundred thousands. That's also going to be very important. Let's take a look at these three numbers here, and we're going to start our rounding. This is our task A. So I'm going to round these numbers because Perhaps this is how many um, uh, pieces of uh, candy that I need to order, but I want a, an estimate of how many I'm going to order. So it says to round to the nearest thousands place value, so I will underline the thousands place. That always tells me what place I'm starting at. I want to, so it's a thousand. So at this location, I will put a 1,000. At this other end, at this location, I will count my consecutive multiples and it's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and so forth. My midpoint goes in the middle and I know that my midpoint is be right between the 1,000 and the 2,000. So what do you think, friends? What is our midpoint here? Yes, it's 1,500. So I write that down. I don't want to forget my midpoint. I look to the right of, and my place value is in the hundreds place. It's a two. This number is very important because it's going to tell me what to do with this rounded number. So let me take a look here. If this is 1,000 and this is 1,500, I'm going to start counting. So this is 1,100, 1,200, ding, ding, ding. It's going to be right here. 1,300, 1,400, 1,500. And it's not going to go beyond that, but if it did, it would be 1,600, 1,700, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000. So this number here rounds to 1,000. It's closest to 1,000. Now, I would like for you to open up your math spiral, and I want you to round the next two numbers. So please go ahead and press pause, because your job right now is to draw yourself a number line and round 4,213 to the nearest 1,000, and the next number, 2,314 to the nearest 1,000 as well. Okay, so I hope you... Uh, used your strategies when you were rounding. What did this number in the middle round to? Did you underline the thousands place? Look to the next door neighbor place value to the right, which is the hundreds. It's a two. Have you noticed that whenever you uh, look to the right and the digit is a zero, one, two, three, or four, you leave this rounded number 
in the place value that it is and you don't move it. So right here, my consecutive multiples would be 4,000. And then at this location, it would be 5,000. What is the midpoint? My midpoint is going to be what? 4,500, yes. Right, always write that down. And because I see a two here, I know that I'm going to round to the 4,000. But let me use my number line. 4,000, 4,100, 4,200. And this is the location of my number. It's closest to 4,000. I can keep going. This would be 4,300, 4,400, 4,500. How about the next one? Did you round the next? Remember, this, the middle one rounded to 4,000. The next one says 2,314. I underline the number th that I'm rounding to, the thousands. I circle the number to its right on the place value chart. It's the hundreds. And this will tell me what to do with my rounded number. It's a three. So I know I'm going to leave it as it is. Just leave it alone to, at 2,000. But let me do it on my number line anyways. The first location is my consecutive multiple of 2,000. The next one is my consecutive multiple of 3,000. My midpoint is going to be right in the middle. Whoopsie, that's a zero. Yeah. And it would be 2,500. 2,000, 2,100, 2,200. 2,200, 2,300, this is where it's going to go, 2,400, 2,500. So this number rounds to 2,000. That is going to be my answer. All right, so now let's move on to task B where we have to round that we're going to be working with this number up here. Do you know how to say this number? Try saying it with me. 852,094. Now we're going to take this same number, but we're going to change it three different ways. And we're going to round it to the nearest thousand, the nearest 10,000, and the nearest 100,000. So help me out with this, boys and girls. If I look at this number, it says round to the nearest thousand. My place value is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, so I underline it. I look to the place value to the right, which is a hundred, and I circle it. This number will tell me what to do with my rounded number, the number that I'm rounding, and it's a zero. So I know that if it's a zero, one, two, three, or four, to the right of it, I'm just going to leave that digit that I'm rounding as it is. My consecutive multiples right here would be 2,000 and 3,000, but I don't want to forget the 850,000. So this is 852,000, and my other consecutive multiple is 853,000. My midpoint, you guessed it, 852,500. So let's see where this actual number falls on my number line. Even though I know that I'm going to leave this two in the thousands place as it is, it, this would be 852,000, 852,100. So it's going to be right here and this is what I round to, okay? That, and I circled it, that's what it's going to round to. Let's look at another one. How about this one? This one's telling me to round to the 10,000th place. So I underlined the 10,000th place. It has the digit of a five. To the right of it is the thousands place. So I circled it, it's a two. Again, because it's a two, I know that this number that I'm rounding is going to stay the way it is and I'm not gonna change it. It's going to round to, to the, uh, 50,000, so I put 50,000 here, 60,000 here, those are my consecutive multiples. Don't forget the 800,000 as well, and the midpoint would be 55,000 or 855,000. So let's start counting. 850,000, 
851,000, 852,000. And this is the location of my actual number. So I'm going to round it to 850,000. Moving on to the next one it says to round to the nearest 100,000. So what do you think I have to do here, friends? I would like for you to stop the video and I want you to round this number to the nearest 100,000. Okay, friends, did you get an answer? What was your answer? And tell me what your steps were. Well, let's see, nearest 100,000, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. I underline my hundred thousands, it's the digit eight. I look to the right, the place value is the ten thousands. I circle it, it's a five. I know that that five is gonna be at the midpoint. And if it's, if this digit is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, I'm going to round to the larger consecutive multiple. And that tells me that to, with this num to this number, I will add one more to the place value. Let's talk about our consecutive uh, multiple. So this would be 800,000. This would be 900,000. Because I'm counting by 100,000. So it would be 100,000, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, 600,000, 700,000. And then I got to my 800,000. My midpoint, what do you think it is? Is this what you wrote down? 850,000. And I know this because I always write down the place value with the five next to it because five is that midpoint. Let me start counting. I wanna know where this goes. So 800,000, uh, okay? And then it's 810,000, 820,000, 830,000, 840,000, 805,000, 806,000. And I know that my, my, the location of this number is going to be right here and it was at the midpoint and beyond it. So I'm going to round it to 900,000. That's going to be my answer. All right. So that is our rounding. So let's do some work now. We launched it, we practiced it. Let's do some work. These are the numbers, the actual numbers. We wanna round them and it says to round to the nearest 10,000. So this is where place value comes in uh, to place and it's very important. Round this number to the nearest 10,000. I'm gonna ask you to pause the video right now draw your number line, write your consecutive multiples, and round it. Also, underline the digit that you're rounding, look to the right, circle that number, and then add zeros to the right. So pause it, and then you may press play once you have it written down. Okay, friends, so let's see what we have. 10,000s, this is my 10,000s place, I underline it. To the right is a thousands, which is a seven, and this seven tells me what to do to my number that I'm rounding, and it's a seven. It's beyond the midpoint. Five, six, seven, eight, nine is beyond the midpoint, so I'm going to add one more to the digit in the ten thousands place. But let me go ahead and write my consecutive multiples. My consecutive multiples would be thirty thousand. 40,000, and you know, if it was a different number, but it, in the thousands, it would continue with 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, like that. What's my midpoint, friends? Help me. It would be, what? Yes, 35,000. That's the midpoint between 30,000 and 40,000. Let me start counting. Here I go. So, 30,000. 31,000, 32,000, 33,000, 34,000, 35,000, keep going, 36,000, it already passed the midpoint, 37,000. This is the location of my number, 38,000, 39,000, 40,000. It passed the midpoint, it's going to round to 40,000. 
And that's how I do my rounding, two different ways on a number line and with my underlining and looking to the right and deciding whether I add one more digit to the number I'm rounding or not. Let's continue. Okay, round this number to the nearest 10,000. So I want you to pause this right now and in your math journal, please round it to the nearest 10,000. Press pause and write in your journal. Okay, boys and girls, I'm glad you're back. So now we're, let's see what your answer was. Did you underline the 10,000th place? I hope you did. Did you circle the place value to the right, which is the thousands? It's a two. This will tell me what to do to the number that I'm rounding. It's less than the midpoint because it's less, it's less than five. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this three, this 30,000 the same. I'm predicting, I'm making an estimate. My consecutive multiples are 30,000 and 40,000. My midpoint is going to be, what do you think? Yes, 35,000. And let me start counting. I uh, am gonna start here. So 30,000, 31,000, 32,000, and I already know that the location of my numbers right here, 33,000, 34,000, 35,000. So this number rounds to 30,000. Let's go on to the next one now, friends. How about this time we work backwards? Let's do some backwards thinking. What number, when rounded to the nearest thousands, has a value of 705,000? Hmm. Working backwards, that's hard. Well, let's challenge our brain and try to, uh, to figure this out together. What do you think? How am I gonna do this? This is my rounded answer, but I need the actual answer. And it could be any number, any uh, different combinations of digits, but uh, this is what I was thinking when I was looking at this. So I know that I'm rounding to the thousands, so I'm going to underline that thousands place. Because when I was going to be looking at this number, this number was gonna tell me to make that a five. So in my brain, I was thinking maybe uh, I could start here at 4,000. And over here, we would have 5,000. Uh, you know, and my midpoint would be 4,500. Remember, I'm working backwards. So this is tough, and you're going to have to work backwards when you do your assignments. Oops, but don't forget that this isn't just 4,000. Think of it as money. It's actually 704,000, 704,500 and 705,000. We wanna make sure we don't forget the other place values. So now, if I was to round it and this was going to be my answer, 705,000, I would have to pick a number that's, on, that's after the midpoint. So what do you think, friends? What number should I pick? 704,000. 500, 704,600, 704,700. Do you like that one? Yeah? That would be a good one to use, huh? And it would round uh, forward. So let's go with that one. Oh, actually, I want another one. How about, all right, let me write it down. Seven. Hundred for five hundred, six hundred. We would put okay. So I don't want to get confused here, friends, because you really do have to help me. So I'm trying to figure out this number. So I said that my midpoint was seven hundred four thousand. 500 and this is 704,600, 704,700, 
700, and this would be 704,800 right here, right? 704,800. And then maybe a two and a one, would that work out? Let's take a look at this. So what do you think? Would this number actually work out? Well, let's, let's give it a try. Let me change colors. I would underline my thousands. I would look to the place value to the right, which is an eight, 800 in the hundreds place. This number would tell me what to do to my rounded number. It's past the midpoint, so it's telling me that I have to add one more to the number that I am rounding, so it would round to 705,000. And that's how we would work backwards. Tricky, but if you use your uh, number line and if you use your, your, your uh, strategies up here, I know you're going to do fine. How are you doing? You doing good? Well, you're going to like this next rounding game. Let me go ahead and show you this rounding game here so that you can play it. Um, share screen. So you can play it and have a little bit of fun while you are rounding numbers. It says click here to start the treasure hunt. Okay, I'm gonna click it. Round this number to the nearest hundred. The nearest hundred that's a six, seven to the right, so it'll be 700, so 5,700. Let me see if I'm right, submit. Ooh, that was loud. Sorry about that. So you may want to turn the volume down. That is, that is very loud. I am going to definitely turn my volume down. Let's do, let's do one more. Round this number to the nearest 10. The eight is in the ten pl tens place. There is a one to the right, so I'm gonna keep it at 80, so 6,980. Get ready for the loudness. So anyways, this is what you're going to be doing. This is the little game, the little pirate game that you're going to be playing. I do wanna tell you that you have two assignments to turn in today. You will complete and turn in the one called rounding problems and you will complete and turn in the cool down as well. I wanna show you what they look like. This is the rounding problem, and it tells you what to round to. Here you're going to work backwards. The other one is the cool down. Now you're only going to be using this one great big number, and you're gonna round it here to the tens place, round it here to the hundreds place, as so and then you answer the next two questions and that's going to be it for today's lesson. So I want you to remember to use your number line. Okay, very important. Circle that place value that you're going to round. Look to the right and circle that digit. No, no, no. You underline, let me change this real quick. Oh, it's right here, okay. Hold on, friends, hold on. Oops. Okay, I fixed it, yay. Whenever there's a mistake, I try to fix it right away. So, tips, use your number line. Underline the place value that you're rounding. Circle, look to the right and circle that digit. Uh, that tells you whether you're going to add one more to your rounded, uh, digit or not and then add zeros to the right as you do that you will do great i i know you will now your notes are important they show you the steps to round numbers use your notes use your anchor chart use your toolkit always use your strategies they help you understand why rounding works well this is the end of our lessons boys and girls now it's time for you to go to your teacher's google classroom the math one and you're going to do the pirates rounding game. You will do the rounding problems that you're going to turn in and then the cool down as well. So I hope you 
do very well and have a great day, Tigers.